Well, hello everyone. This is a little bit different perspective than my regular videos, I, I know. We headed south for about four, four and a half hours, and we're, we're in this place called Bar Harbor, Maine. It's just beautiful here, and I, I'm going to show you different clips, different video clips of, uh, of our little visit here. We're just here for a few days, and by the time you get this video, by the, by the time you see it, uh, we're going to be home, but we've got about two feet of snow still in our backyard on our lawn. Well, we come about four and a half hours, and of course, we just happened to strike the weather just right, and, uh, <laughs> and it's, it's just beautiful and sunny. It's so nice, um, and uh, the hotel where we, where we stayed is or we're staying is up behind me there. I don't know if you can, that's the old part of the hotel, but that's actually somebody's mansion from years ago. You imagine somebody, some very lucky person <laughs> had that for a home years ago. I can't imagine that, but really nice. This time of the year, we just love to, we love to get away and go where there's no snow and there isn't a flake of snow down here. It's hard to believe we're still in the state of Maine. We're only about four and a half hours from home. It's unbelievable, really, that we're in the same state. But anyway, I wanted to especially mention, on my last video, I was, uh, I was talking about how that years ago, how that I got saved myself. If you haven't been to my last video and read the testimonies that people have put out, you ought to go back and and, uh, and read the testimonies. It's on my video just before this one. But, uh, you know, I read those, testimony, those testimonies. I felt to ask if you could please, anyone out there that you'd like to share your testimony of what the Lord has done for you, uh, to please share your, your, your testimony. And I, I read through those, and I tell you what, it brought the tears right to my eyes, a lot of the testimonies that I read. It's just incredible what the Lord has done for each of you. And uh, I just, I felt, I know the Lord spoke to me. Ask the, ask the folks to share how that, how that they came to me. That's how, roughly how it came to me, I guess, to share with you or to ask you that. But your testimonies, oh my goodness, they're just so awesome what the Lord has done. I see a rock I can sit on over here. But I really enjoyed reading, reading those messages that you folks put out. And uh, I tell you what, I really believe, I really believe that some people get saved because of you sharing your testimony. I believe that there have been a lot of people getting saved around the world. I truly believe that because um, I know I've faced spiritual warfare and I know a lot of you folks face it too. Hope you can see me all right, but, but I, I know that a lot of people have no doubt gotten saved because of, of you folks sharing your testimony and what God, what God has done for you uh, it's still early in the morning. I don't know why I didn't, I didn't have enough coffee, I don't think, because I'm tongue-tied again. I trip over my words when I get like that, you know. I, I have to have some more coffee. Where's my next coffee fix? <laughs> I'm being silly, I know, but I do like coffee. And I know a few you folks out there that like coffee, too, so I'm not alone. <laughs> You know, that rock is a nice seat, but it's awful hard. It's really, really hard. <laughs> but anyway, um, I wanted to thank you folks for sharing your wonderful testimonies. My goodness. My daughter came out earlier and she got these video clips. There's some very different birds here. Uh, they make the most unique sounds. It was just really interesting. Those messages of how you got saved, um, 
you just don't know who that's going to touch. There's so many people out there that um, they don't know the Lord, and they might be in the same condition that you were in when you got saved. And and uh, after reading your message, I just picture a lot of people falling right to their knees and accepting Christ just like that. So. Uh, if you ever like to share your message, whether it, and it might might be something besides salvation too, it could be uh, how the Lord provided for you in some way, in some miraculous way. We all have those God moments, don't we? When when we just know that that there has been divine intervention. If I said that right, boy, some words I don't use too often, obviously. <laughs> Divine intervention there. Like I said, I need that coffee. I, I've got to head back to the hotel room and have some more coffee. <laughs> I, I do have to have some more coffee. I'm telling you right now, I almost have the jitters. i got to have it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to head up to the uh, hotel room. Show you a little sweeping shot here. There's that old mansion behind me there somebody had for a house years ago of course there's a hotel behind me gazebo some folks have gotten married there well i think i'm gonna head on up to the hotel room and i'll take a few shots up there on the balcony so i'll be right back well, now I'm up on the balcony, and uh, I think I'm the second floor up here. It's kind of confusing because you go in the front, and the front is higher than the back, and yeah, long story. <laughs> it's just, it's nice. We really like it. Anyway, I'm on the balcony, and you can see the gazebo down there, and the, you, can you can certainly see me. <laughs> I'm kind of in the way, but... I'm not going to end this video without giving you folks a hug because I know how important it is. I, I truly do. And I want to sit. I want to sit in this. Whoop, I want to sit in this chair just right here. But oh, it feels good to sit down. The older that you get, the better it feels. <laughs> it, it truly does. But anyways, uh, all the Lord knows. He knows all about it. Jesus knows all about our struggles. He will guide till the day is done. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. Oh, how true that is. The Lord knows everything that you're going through. He knows all about it. He knows your struggles. He knows our faults. He knows our failures. He knows those things, those hidden things that, uh, that nobody else knows about. He knows. He knows those struggles, those, and those things that really irritate you and that really bother you. Um, you know the scripture that I shared the other uh, the other day on Facebook in my ministry like page. And uh, if you haven't checked out my ministry like page, I uh, I set that up because uh, I was getting a lot of friends on my regular Facebook. So, and I changed the name of it. I had uh, both pages was Mark Murchison, and I I changed the ministry page. I believe it's Mark Murch Mark Murchison. <laughs> I can say my own name right. <laughs> Mark Murchison Ministry like page I think is what I call it <laughs> um, I, I still haven't had that coffee folks so that's probably the reason why that I am tongue-tied <laughs> gotta have and you know that coffee would be so good it's sitting here right now I love all you you folks you know the um, but anyway, I want to be sure to give you a hug, and while I'm hugging you, you can look over my shoulder and you can see that view, okay? <laughs> that alone should cheer you up. Oh, precious Lord, Lord Jesus. Lord, I just come to you right now.
concerning each and every one out there. Lord, you know each and every struggle. You know you know all about everything and everyone's life. You know those that are confined that can't get out and do anything because they're confined right to their house. Some folks, Lord, there's nobody that knows like you do. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would touch and uplift each and every one out there. I pray that they would feel your extreme love that you have for them. And I pray that you would help them to that finish line, Lord. I just pray that you would help them to that finish line. Oh, child of God, things are going to be so much different very soon. You may be going through all kinds of spiritual warfare and all kinds of struggles that are even, they're so complex that they're even hard to explain. I feel to say that. Your, your, your problems are even hard to, they're so complex, there's so much to it, so much detail that it would take a long time to convey the reason why things are the way that they are for you right now. But I tell you what, nobody else may know, but Jesus knows. That's why he prompted me to say that right now, is because he knew that you were going to be listening. He knows what you've been going through. He knows the heartache and the struggle. He knows the pain. He knows he's seen that long road that you have walked and that you have tripped along the way, there's been stones, there's been, there's been uh, potholes, and there's been, there's been stumbling blocks, there's been, there's been trees that people have laid across in front of you, and branches and bushes and briars and all types of obstacles that you have faced in your life, and in uh, at. I tell you what I feel like I'm prophetically speaking. There's been times that you just have felt like totally giving up and throwing in the towel and saying, what's the use? Nobody cares. Nobody sees. Nobody understands what I've been going through and what's the sense? What's the use? What is the use of going on any longer? Well, keep going. Keep going. When you get at the end of that rope. You tie a knot in it. Don't let go. Don't let go. Tie a knot in the end of that rope and keep holding on to Jesus' hand. Keep holding on to Jesus' hand. Don't ever give up because most folks, they don't know. I mean, there, there may be nobody that knows what you have been through in your life. All of those struggles that I just mentioned that road that has been so crooked and so and, and on top of that the the storms as if the path wasn't hard enough it's the storms that have come along with it the rain and the and the pounding thunder and the claps of thunder and the the raging raging wind and the and at times you just haven't been able to see which direction to go. It's like the path that has been so hard, you haven't even been able to see the path for the wind and the rain and all the, all everything that's gone with it. But just keep holding on to Jesus' hand. And even though you, like up here, we call it a whiteout in the wintertime. When you come to whiteouts, that's the most dangerous of all is when you're going in the winter time and and you get white out when the wind blows really hard and it's snowing hard when you go through a white out uh, the, the best thing you can do is don't go through the white out but turn around and go some other direction because when you go through that white out you can't see anything everything is white everything there's nothing you can see and you're going at a certain speed, you don't dare to stop because someone will run into you. And you don't, if you keep going, somebody ahead of you, they're going through the whiteout too. You can, that's when you can have a head on collision. Well, a lot of you folks, you've been going through even a whiteout. Well, just 
if you focus and you turn your eyes enough on Jesus, you will see his hand reaching for yours and he will take you by the hand. You might not be able to see anything else, but take Jesus by the hand and he will lead you through that storm, through that whiteout, because he knows the way. Nobody else knows, but Jesus knows. Anyway, you know, I truly believe that I I truly believe that I, that I was prompted by the Holy Spirit to say all of those things. The Lord knows. There's some people there. This is really, this has really touched your heart because it's come directly from the Lord. I believe, because I I wouldn't have felt to share, like I did. You know, this prayer has been quite a while. This might be kind of a long video, folks. Maybe I'll have to make part one, part two. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching my videos. And uh, the Lord bless and keep each and every one of you. And keep holding on. Keep reaching for that nail-scarred hand. It might be the only thing that you can see in your storm. Keep reaching for that hand. The extreme grief. Only God knows what you have felt in your heart and in your life the extreme grief that you have had. Just keep holding on to that nail-scarred hand. And he will lead you out. He will lead you through. Anyway, God bless and keep you all. You all take care. And as I always say, bye for now, folks. Bye for now.